Today, Cilium provides fantastic granular network policy control across your cloud native platforms. Beyond the scopes and features that are available out of the box with Kubernetes networking policies, it's actually one of the reasons why customers use Cilium within their environments. They'll come for more granular control at a security level, for example, and then start to discover other features such as egress gateway and in our enterprise environments things like um, the hubble enterprise ui which gives you lots more features there hubble timescape and um, maybe ha dns uh, as well there's lots of little things to pick up there but there's always that one key feature that people start with in today's video i'm going to cover how you can control the default deny behavior of network policies from cilium in uh, isovalent enterprise for cilium 1.15. This feature will actually be available in the open source version of Cilium 1.16 in the future, but our engineering team at Isovalent have actually already backported that into the earlier version of our Isovalent Enterprise offering for customers already. So what is this feature about? So if we consider a large Kubernetes cluster that's made up of lots of maybe multi-tensed workloads, and the owner of the platform may start to wish to introduce new policies, and these new policies may proxy all DNS requests for monitoring purposes, uh, deny access sensitive IPs, for example, maybe cloud provider metadata API addresses, and maybe you want to introduce new cluster-wide tooling such as security scanners or data protection software. Cilium network policies already have all of the features and necessary policy language to implement those types of policies today. However, applying a broad type of policy to an existing platform does uh, carry an operational risk. These new broader policies may be the first policy to apply into a endpoint inside of your cluster. So if we consider an existing cluster today where we've deployed workloads but have no existing network policy, um, as I have with my current demo app, so if we do kubectl get pods in the namespace of tenant jobs, we can see all of my running pods here. And then if I do kubectl get cmp shot for Cilium network policy in that same, we can see that there are no policies applied. That means by default, all traffic is allowed to and from those pods and also in and out that namespace as well. If we start to apply broad policy into that environment, then what actually happens is uh, anything that doesn't apply to that particular policy's rule set will be denied by default. So let's see that in action for what we actually mean right now. So if I pull my window down here, we've got a cluster-wide network policy, and I'm actually going to go through that use case of being able to insert all the DNS requests for observability reasons. So we want to capture um, anything on that protocol, TCP or UDP, port 53, matches any DNS pattern as well. So this is available in any version of Cilium that you want to run today, whether that's Enterprise or OSS. So before I do that, let's just find my Hubble observe command because what I want to do is I want to ensure that all traffic's working with that tenant jobs app. And as we can see there, all the traffic is forwarded. So that's really great. And now I'm going to apply that file that I've just shown you into my terminal. And I just clear that down. And now again, I'm just going to find that Hubble observe command. And because I'm using the enterprise version here, I do have a Hubble role-based access control, which is why I've got a couple of extra arguments with that Hubble CLI command there as well. And now what we can see is a new uh, uh, communications from those applications, for example, going externally, a dropped uh, going with inside of the environment are also dropped. However, any DNS requests are still forwarded because that's obviously allowed because we're proxying that information. But everything else that we uh, are interested in as well is dropped. And again, if I just show that again, we can see there we've got denied on egress or they're dropped because they're going external to that. Uh, to the namespace as well and obviously that's not what we want within the environment so I'm going to clear that down and we're going to do kubectl uh, delete ccmp because it was a silly cluster-wide network policy and we're going to delete that uh, at the moment 
And then again, we're going to double check that from the observed point of view, uh, we can see. And again, we've gone back to a working environment and we can see that everything's forwarded as we'd expect. So that's kind of really great. And now we can even see uh, traffic going to and from the pods as well again. With this new feature in Icefield and Enterprise for Cilium 1.15, and again, as I mentioned, in the future, it will be available in the open source version, which is 1.16, we have the ability to now set that behavior of the default deny. So we can set inside of that Cilium network policy, whether it's a namespace network policy or whether it's a cluster-wide network policy, the ability to uh, disable that default deny. So even if this policy is the first policy to apply to a workload, it will not uh, affect that workload by denying traffic because nothing else applies to that policy that you've applied as well. So now let's observe the same behavior by applying this. So again, I'm just gonna highlight that was line 16 to 18 there. And we go back into my terminal and we'll do the same kubectl apply to file from my interpreter. Bang. There we go. So that's applied now. And now if we do Hubble observe, we can see that again, all of my traffic continues to be allowed inside of the environment because it's not denied by default when it doesn't match that new broader rule that is applied cluster wide as well. So a really key feature which allows you to mitigate any operational risk when making wide broad changes in an existing Kubernetes platform with existing workloads as well. Thank you very much.